Hey hi friends, Darshit here with another video. So right now I'm gonna show you that problem I'm facing right now. You can see that how much dirt is accumulated over here. So this is your primary motherboard and your CPU goes here and over it goes your heat sink. So from the past few days I was facing a problem that my uh, PC was getting turned off, shut down automatically after a few time, after a few minutes of playing games or doing heavy task so i realized that it is getting heat up so soon so early so when i opened it up and i checked that the thermal paste between my uh, cpu and the heat sink is uh, totally uh, you can say totally dried so to fix this problem first you need to remove all the dirt and then you need to buy a good thermal paste and then you have to apply it between this and your heat sink. So what are thermal paste do? Thermal paste is actually a conducting material between the CPU surface and the heat sink. So it passes the heat from the uh, your CPU to the heat sink so that it can dissipate and your fans can just put it out. So right now I'm going to show you how to apply thermal paste on your CPU and between your heat sink. Okay guys, so make sure that uh, you uh, remove all the previous remains of the thermal paste from your CPU also make sure that you remove the fan over the heat sink and clean all this dirt because it will block the passage of heat transfer also make sure that uh, if your PC is getting shut down because of the temperature difference then a fan should be here that I will place right now here which will take the air outward and uh, at the your side panel there should be fan which should take air inward so it will maintain the flow of air your cpu fan will move the air outward it will take it outward and this will uh, ventilate the fresh air inside so in this way you can actually maintain a proper ventilation as well as your shutdown temperature will not be reached okay so i have cleaned it properly now it's time to put all the place uh, pieces together and apply the heat sink let's go all right guys so i've done everything now I placed it back after cleaning and uh, I've cleaned this too and it is in the place now I have this thermal paste now it came with the OEM uh, but you can purchase it online or you can buy it from your local store it will cost you not too much but there is a variety of range depending on the quality of thermal paste it depends on you how much you want to invest on it so you don't need to apply it directly on the uh, CPU just apply it on the area surface area which is in the contact with the heat sink okay so I'm just going to apply it directly over the heat sink just apply it in the center and it will just diffuse in other parts okay so I've applied it properly this much is enough it is in the right place it will just disperse in all over just put it firmly over your CPU That's it. Yeah, as you can see that everything is just fine. Everything is locked up and the thermal paste is firmly dissipated over the chip. So make sure that you do this exercise uh, frequently depending on your paste. And uh, if you found that uh, there is so much dirt in your area that it just spoils your whole motherboard and uh, your pc is not working fine it just shuts down automatically after a few time so it's a good practice and it just does not cost too much so if it helped for you just do it and thanks for watching and have a nice day
guys so i decided to add this small click in the end to show you the performance now so i'm running this cpu burner from firmark and uh, the cpu is running at 80 percent right now and as i can see that still uh, the sound which is coming out from my cpu is not that high so it shows that it's really working and it's helpful so you should do that and it's really helpful i just figured it out so thanks for watching and have a nice day